um, uh, if aerial, you know, combos, if that's, you know, like, if that's going to be the main new, like, combo system that the game's going to be revolved around, all I would, all I would wish for is, you know, like, of course, TJ Combo having his absolutely unique set that, you know, because if everyone can do it, TJ Combo is going to be less of a unique character, and you know, exactly. it's, I hope it's but just him. Yep. yeah, yeah, I hope it's mostly just him, but everyone have to having just like a snippet of something that they can do, like yeah. a little something, like you know, and like, uh, like basically, oh, oh, and and another question is, do you guys think counter breaking should be implemented in aerial attacks? earlier I, I kind of um one of the things i hate the most is sidira's uh, grab vortex i really really hate that and i know it's probably just because i'm a closest player hmm. um but I, I absolutely hate that and being able to break that some just to surprise them just to like throw them off would fucking make my day get yeah. them on the ground Wait, you like their their grip their grab setups or mine i mean <laughs> <laughs> Better, don't get me started on you because mine does 30 percent damage almost what a scumbag <laughs> the cheapest Mm. But yeah, I mean, it, I honestly wouldn't mind if counter breaks were implemented in the air just as long as it wasn't just, you know, it had to be, it had to go according to how many hits someone was able to do in the air. Like, for instance, it's uh, just like if you want to go for a couple of hits or, or something like that. I mean, it's kind of really hard to explain, but um, I think I'm up, I'm for it, but only if the opportunity is, is kind of slim because of the fact that. You know, if it was absolutely common, you know, a character like Sadira would be heavily, you know, at a at a heavy disadvantage, and she wouldn't be able to do much. And you know, for for aerial combos, especially for like air shadows, you know, like if you do one, two, threes in the air. But um, I don't know. Hard enough to do a shadow uh, 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 shadow break on a shadow Jago's slides. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Those are kind of hard. Like, it is. It is. So I mean, like, it's a very again a, a touchy subject. Like. Uh, one one change could be good for most of the cast, but it would heavily just take a huge hit for one character. Now, what, what, for my for my concept for counter air whatever breakers, I would want it on, like you would only be able to do it if uh, the KV meter was like green. Once you get out of the green, then you got you can be you can be counter broken in the air. Like because if you go all the way to red, like right at the edge and you're at 99 and you counter break that's like and you're in the air it's like oh like you, you can't do anything yeah but i would like it to have some kind of like risk reward you know high risk yeah. high reward yeah. you want it you want the damage you do it early or you want the full thing you get a risk of counter getting getting counter broken exactly exactly and uh lcd is correct to me it's called bordira not sadira sorry oh, right <laughs> right it's it's either board deer or salt deer, you know? Yeah. Uh, Crazy Horse, uh, I'm not sure, to be honest, if he's pre-metal arms or post-metal arms. I would assume it's post because... I think it, it's post. Yeah, because post. The, the story and everything is supposed to be going, you know, right after KI2. You know, right after he, gold or he, something. He does mention in the monologue, he mentions that he, he took some, you know, immoral steps to become to become top yeah. dog. Yeah. And now he's trying to make better on that, so... Yeah. yeah, I absolutely believe that they. I I think that is the the cybernetic cybernetics ripped out. But we never actually. I don't remember ever seeing actually seeing the cybernetics inside of him. Yeah. So I don't, I don't know what they looked like at all. So. Yeah, it could be. You know, I, I would say post because yeah, just the scars alone. I mean, like, honestly, like, I mean, I shouldn't even be quoting this because it's two completely different games. But I mean, just just as a way to make me feel better, but. Uh, in Metal Gear, in Metal Gear Solid 4, I think the Guns of the Patriots, like when, uh, like Raiden, basically he substituted every single one of his limbs except his torso and his head for cyborg parts. And towards the end of the game, he gets them put back together, and you see scars everywhere. You can see the lines where they detached every single limb. You know, what I mean, I, I would assume that's kind of the same, but I guess somebody did a horrible job on TJ Combo because there's scars everywhere. But the thing is, when he does his instinct, you s they travel in every single one of the scars. So I guess the real question is, does he still have his enhancements? Maybe it's even better than the like arms, you know? I think it's like a residual effect. I think that's probably what that is. Like, yeah. he, he there's some residual effect in his DNA from having the cybernetics for so long or something like that. That would be a great, that would be a great uh, uh, twist for that one, to be honest. It would be a great twist. Yeah. But I, I, I can't wait to, to find out. 
I, I know, I know, I know, I heard one thing about uh, season two that Shadow Jiggle might not make it. Yeah, I, I think he's gonna be there at the end of the year. I think yeah. that's what someone said. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'm not. I'm not really that concerned. I'd rather see new characters, new cast members. Oh than, yeah, me too. Yeah. And see, uh, Shadow Jago. Just because, I don't know. I mean, I do like the boss Shadow Jago move set. I think that's really cool. But seriously, that would be the cheapest thing in the game. Like. <laughs> Holy shit. You should listen to Grimm's this little gripe about this. He wants it so bad. I'm wait, sorry. wait. What, what was the gripe? Sorry, I got distracted because I just got an email for Battlefield Hardline. Apparently, I just got. I just. Oh, you got in. I just yeah, I just got in. They just gave me a Did code you have a P for PC. Yeah, for PC. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, oh, you have a PS4. No, like I just like it's like here's our gift to you, bam, beta access code. I'm like, say what? Hardline looked fucking amazing, but I'm sorry, what was my gripe? No, that you, uh, that I, we all mentioned that you know, Shadow Jigo needs to be nerfed, and you're like, wait, what? Oh, I got the gift too. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I, got, I just got the e -bill. <laughs> Yeah, it, it it all depends because a lot, you know. Oh man, I've went through armies of people just saying he needs to be nerfed. Period. Well, what? <laughs> what are you having trouble with? He's just OP. Why? Cause he's manuals. It's just too good. You're still not <laughs> you answering know, you my damn. Do, you almost do that voice every time, and I'm like, what a <laughs> I'm just like, dude, like, <laughs> like, dude, seriously, you gotta, you just have to understand. If there's like a character that you're having or having trouble with, you want them to be like nerfed. It's like you have to explain in depth what the heck is wrong. Like, what are you having trouble with? Because simply it's saying, Jay goes on. Tweeted about this actually. What's up? Oh, Alex. He, he did? Yeah, Alex Valle just tweeted uh, exactly about that kind of thing. Not necessarily specifically. Uh, uh huh. But okay. uh, I might be able to find it. Hold on. I, so I remember that, before that, you before you go, I remember talking to Valle last run back uh, this past Thursday, and you know I asked him. He was like, I asked him. I was like, oh, what do you what do you think about the CAD community? I said, yeah, they're good, you know. But you know, every online community has uh, has it has it made we're spoiled. I was like, well, what do you mean? Yeah. He's like, well. Look at the Smash guys. There's no online for them. I know, right? Mm -hmm. And you see what they do? They are all committed. There, there was 90 people last uh, last Sunday mm -hmm. for for the, the, the Smash tournament over there. That's crazy. That's awesome. And, and that's because, you know, of course they're local as well, but they don't have an online scene, so they play four players with people at the house. Yeah. I know. Uh, that's it. They all bring yep. each other. They, bring, they go over, but like us online players, you know, it's not like we we ask for it, whatever but it's like we have we have we're here you know why go to a tournament where i can just play online that's where that's the mentality where people have people have a lot of that like to, like when i went to the run back that day i played with uh tank pinner and he you know he beat me actually and i was like what i didn't even know you were coming you know he's like well you know i live down the street like what why aren't you coming to the run back i just want to play online oh man <laughs> that's so bad like we have a, you have something to go to right down the street i have to travel an hour and a half to get to the run back mm -hmm. just to go play yeah the, the people that have been going dean asty is more recent he's been going he lives down the street he says uh, yeah. uh taint pinner lives down the street um the tyrant lives a little bit far away me and tyrant me tyrant and pretty he lives down the street he said he just started going but he just came here again from from the east coast and stuff but man like yeah. There's just so many people that I know I know there's so many people that live up there and they don't go and it, it frustrates me. Yeah. So I found that Alex, Alex Valle tweets. Uh, he says if uh, even if you if you played the base even if you played the best character, where's your easy win at? You are losing because of your decisions. The opponent is making that very clear to you. Exactly. Own up to your losses and evaluate your decisions and prep for the next law or for the next match. If you still complain about character matchup, you've already lost. I'm I'm retweeting that. Give me a sec. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm trying to find it. Like I, I know I followed that that, that dude. How long ago? Oh, how long ago was that? <laughs> uh, eight hours and seven hours. Oh, oh my god. I'm retweeting them. Retweeting Jeez. that man. Own up to your losses and evaluate your. Retweet it, please, so I can see. Oh jeez, it's three yeah, different. Gonna... It's three different tweets. Son of a b. Yeah, it's three different He's tweets. That kind of guy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Damn it. <laughs> it's gonna tweet the last one. Oh, there it is. I got it. This point. Even if you oh, play the best and shout, shout out to Chris G going to LCD stream yesterday. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Grims was such a nice guy. Nobody thought it could happen. Uh, he did. And then Grims, Grims pulled the Hollywood like, shit, you want, you want, you want Justin Warren here too? <laughs> shit, you want Jesus Christ in here? I can make it happen. You want Moses? Jesus. I'll make it happen. <laughs> oh, man. I, I bet you he was so embarrassed. That makes me laugh because it's want... like he had a picture up there. You want Tupac? How about Biggie? How about both? 
<laughs> oh man, man, yeah, it was. It's good. I tried. I even tried to convince. I was like, hey, you should come to other streams. You should come to streams and talk. We all actually are cool. We're not just like a bunch yeah. of you know dickheads mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. don't like each other and just mm -hmm. argue mm -hmm. like what people do in Street Fighter and Marvel stream. That's all they do. This person's better. No, this person's better. No. And <laughs> yep. so, um, that's, that's all it is. It's so true. Yeah, and that's, you know, that's why I try to make it like I try to I try to mention it to people that are new to the KI scene that we are not like those other people. We are we are a united community to me. I, I like to consider that. Yeah. Is it is it wrong to consider that like everyone in my stream? I consider like my KI community. Like I know there's like a community out there like completely, you know, vast or, or whatever. But I feel like every time I'm on my stream and everybody comes in, I'm like, yeah, this is the community that that I know the best, you know what I mean? And, and uh, there's, there's... How many, how many people's gamer tags or, or uh, you know, usernames from Twitch do you know, like, at mm. this point in your life that you didn't know before? Yeah. I mean, that, that's, a, that's a pretty significant amount of people. I think I've seen you cap out at, like, 300 viewers, which, that's pretty significant. Yeah, that's amazing. You know what I mean? Like, that's, that's, that's a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It is. It is. And, and you and... remember everybody. Both of you guys do. Mm -hmm. yeah. for everybody well, I, I, don't, I don't nearly get as much, but I do for all my viewers. <laughs> yeah, make sure that it's absolutely amazing. I mean, that, that that's what I always feel. I'm like, okay, I play. I'm gonna play with my community, and that I basically it's like basically everyone on my stream. I know there's Facebooks or uh, Facebook groups and all that, and other stuff like that. Or there used to be, you know, W Helix forums and all that. But honestly, when it comes down to it, like it, I just consider the the chat room everyone in and everyone I know from it as like a community that you know and and uh, some people may think that's selfish like oh you only do it for your stream that, that's not cool i'm like well i mean it, that's what you do for supporters that's what you know for people that that watch you from the very beginning and and you know yeah. keep you encouraged and everything and then you you know you do everything you can you can to return something back you know what i mean whether it's at the very beginning of the stream or, or whatever and honestly i can care less on what whatever what anyone else says i can really care less honestly i've said this before and i'll say it again i do not care if if and this may sound scummy but i do not care if people think i'm the best or people think i'm the worst in the end i'm doing it for my stream and 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 for the people that have fun awesome. watching yeah and and honestly if it if i win or lose again i'm just doing it for my stream and and apparently like everybody on the stream is like what makes the majority of like in the forums and facebooks and i'm like well yep. i'm proud to call you guys you know the you know the ki community in here you know, Absolutely. you guys are awesome. So. Yeah, I, I know. Grim's the same way as me. I, we wouldn't have gone to these tournaments without you guys. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I mean... I, 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 I'm back, uh, NCR, SCR, that's, that's all you guys that helped us do that. I, we had, I really had no intention of going to each, any one of those. Yeah, me neither. Me we neither. Got, we got convinced, and we're like, why not? Yeah, for the people, by the people. Are you officially going to EVO now? Am I officially... Dude, I, I'm like, and I'm inevitably going to go, no matter what now. <laughs> Okay. Even yeah. though even though plans ha have not been planned, it's it's most likely going to happen. You know, at this point, if I don't go, I'm 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 a crazy nut for not going. You know. Yeah. I'm glad. I'm very glad. I'm, all right, Gutter, are you going? You are going to Evo, Gutter. You already got that figured out, right? Uh, well, kind of. There's I mean, there's some complications I'm going on, but I'm trying to see what I can do right now. Well, oh, you got to you, you, you got to get on the street and start selling that butt. Yeah, I mean, I, like I said, I mean, everything, everybody has been, everybody that's been pitching in and helped me, of course, that is going towards it. But you know, it's not, it's not as easy as it sounds. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I never is. That, yeah. I never is. Oh god, yeah, oh, I hit by the hype. So much community love in these places, man. Look at this. I love this community, dude. Up there, you've got community, then pre pregasm. Yeah. I mean, this this community is awesome. We'll save place. we'll save uh, character gripes and grudges for the next podcast because that's yeah. a whole different story, whole different <laughs> oh, story. Man. That's gonna yeah. be interesting. This is this is just a, this is like this this is, to me. I wanted to, to introduce this to, to these guys saying that we should do this every week. Yeah. Absolutely. And, like, you know, yeah. uh, you well, know, I wanted course, I wanted to do it this uh, on the 11th since that's the next time I stream and so since that's when they'll go. that's when they'll show like the most of TJ combo. So. Yeah, I want to have my parents over, but I'm gonna try my best to get to get on this with you guys. All you yeah. have to do is just keep keep me keep me posted on the on Skype, and I'll let you guys know what I can do. So yeah, unfortunately, I won't be able to make that because I will be working Wednesday. I have today and tomorrow off. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, we'll we'll figure uh, something out. You know, well, like if not so, on the 11th, then maybe you know on the next time. You yeah. know. But but we'll, we can we should definitely set it up to do weekly because I think this is uh. I think this is great. I think it's great for the community to hear you guys talk about your perspective on the game and the state of the game. Um, I think 
I don't know, man. I think it's great.